Okay, we're now going to look at how to work out fractions of amounts. So you probably know how to do some basic fractions of amounts already. So for instance, if I said, how do you work out a half of 60? Well, to find a half of 60, you probably know already to divide that by 2. And then half of 60, well, dividing 60 by 2 would give you 30. Uh, if you wanted to get a quarter of a number, so a quarter of 20, you might be able to do that already. Uh, to get a quarter of a number, uh, you half it and half it again, or you divide it by 4. So 20 divided by 4 is 5, so a quarter of 20 is 5. So you should be able to notice a pattern here so far. We've done 60 divided by 2 to get 30, so to get a half of a number, you divide it by 2. To get a quarter of a number, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So whenever you wanted to get a quarter of a number, you divide it by 4. If you wanted to get a third, so a third of 15, when you do a third, you do 15 divided by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So whenever you want to get a fraction of a number, whenever there's a 1 on the top line, you just divide it by the bottom number. So if I wanted to work out a fifth of 60, well I do 60 divided by 5. 60 divided by 5 is 12. So if you want to work out a half divided by 2, a third divided by 3, a quarter divided by 4, a fifth divided by 5, a sixth divided by 6, and so on. Now sometimes we're asked to get fractions where we've got a number, uh, a number bigger than 1 on the top line or on the numerator. So we're going to work out 3 quarters of 20. To get 3 quarters of 20, you first of all need to work out 1 quarter of 20. So you do 20 divided by 4, first of all. So you do 20 divided by 4, and that's 5. So a quarter of 20 is 5, but we want 3 quarters, so we've got to do 5 times 3. 5 times 3 equals 15. So to get a fraction of a number, you divide by the bottom number and times by the top. So you divide by the bottom and times by the top. So let's look at another example. So we're now going to work out 2 sevenths of 21. So you get 2 sevenths of 21, remember, you divide by the bottom and times by the top. So you're going to do 21 divided by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. Then you take that number and you times by the top number, where the top number is 2. So you do 3 times 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So 2 sevenths of 21 is 6. Let's have a look at a typical exam question now. So the typical exam question is... There's 18 apples in a shop. Ranjit buys five, six of them. How many does she buy? So, uh, we're going to do five, six of 18. Remember, we divide by the bottom and times by the top. So we're going to do 18 divided by six. And 18 divided by six is three. Then we take the three and we times it by the top. So we do three times five. 3 times 5 is 15, so 3 fifths of 18 is 15, so Ranjit buys 15 apples and she leaves 3 in the shop because, well, there's 18, she's bought 15, so that'd be 3 left over. But the question is, how many did she buy? The answer would be 15.